Hello and welcome to FMD Games. Um, I'm starting my uh, play of dwarfs. Play of dwarfs. Let's play of dwarfs. Um, this is the opening screen. This was kindly gifted to me by um, Up on Rick, and uh, I've Up on Nick even. Or I'm not. Even, it's hard to say that because it's just a load of random letters and uh, it's hard to read. Um, but thank you very much for gifting that to me. Um, and I've been playing it a bit. Um, so far I've sort of done the tutorial and had a go at arcade mode and arcade mode seems to be like the most sandboxy sort of um, thing uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna check this out first uh, well I'll show you what it is and I'll have a go so I'm gonna try a normal mode uh, full 60 minute game so it's probably gonna be in a, a couple of actually no, I'll do a 30 minute game no 15 minute game 15 minute game <laughs> and um, I can explain to you the basics so we have our, our digger dwarfs um, who like to dig? Um, they're like lemmings as such, and we got warrior dwarves to start off with. So, um, this the aim of the arcade mode is to <coughs> get as much money as possible, not much money, as much uh, like score as possible. So you see there, they're digging as tile, and it's getting me five five score. Um, and over time, more and more of these things will spawn, and the map is just huge. Um, it just goes on forever. I think it's how it's randomly generated. And all of these black caves could contain a manner of good or terrible things. See, another one just spawned. Probably best to get a few warriors out to start with. Um, it's always good to have a few just like lying around. Because um, the horrible things appear. Oh, but then again, saying that I need money in case water or lava comes spurting out of these caves. Um, which, quite frankly, can be disastrous. And if, it, if the water or lava or monsters manage to destroy your base, um, that is it. End over game. And it counts how many tiles you've managed to dig without losing. So we have a time limit here. Um I can't remember how you slow and speed up the game. I have no I don't I swear you can. Um this rock here I think is undiggable. I believe. I might be right, I might be wrong. Um Yeah I'm right. So um that means you can like later on in the game if you if you know what's inside a cave you can um you can trap oh god this guy's going for a cave now. Uh yeah you can trap what's inside it so if you don't want any doors to ever like dig into it again? I'll oh, say shit. So I've got um. Oh, this isn't a good start, really. Oh fuck me. Uh, boy, he's gonna die. Right. Um, and it's really expensive to draw arrows to tell them where to go. So right, fuck it. I'm gonna have to. Go on, man. Um, get down to here. I don't want my 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 diggy diggies to die. Go. Oh fuck. Oh thank God, that was some. Um, oh, and they can level up as well, so the more they di Oh, fucking hell, he's gonna die now, isn't he? Don't- Come on, attack! See, they've sensed the alert now. Oh, they're close. See, you've got to level up from more- Oh, What the hell is this thing? What? Oh, God, and now there's water. That was fucking close, I'm not gonna- Oh! F fuck me. Jesus Christ- Right, so this is where I need to- uh, Oh, God, I haven't got any money. Um- yeah, I know how to do this. Um, oh, Jesus. That was... I nearly lost already. See, if that water had got any close to my base, game over. This has been a fucking... Oh, my God. Intense start. Um, what does that say? Don't press the button. Well, someone probably is going to press the button. Oh, God. Don't, don't mind. Oh, gee, I thought it was going to... I thought it was a mining one then. Right, so... Once... That's right. Right, we need to solidify this so that they can't fucking dig through it. Cause I'll, oh, my God. That scared me then. It's so close to my base as well. Jesus Christ. Um, I'm gonna have to focus on. I'm just gonna have to right. Uh, firstly, click town hall um, to ring the bell to get all my warriors back there to the center. God, I haven't even been able to, been able to show anything nearly. And I only died already. Jesus. Um, can I? I've got. I've got plenty of gold now, so I can hold control and I can solidify. Oh my god! Fucking hell! See what I mean? They just. They, they will dig to their death. Um, I haven't got enough. Oh, please don't go down here. I haven't got. Oh my god, that was close. Whew. Jesus Christ. And it costs quite a lot to do this as well. But as this is so, so close to my um to my base, I really don't want them to die. Oh god damn it. Fucking dumb, stupid, dwarvy miners. Um, see, I nearly experienced my death within like the first two minutes of gameplay there. <laughs> oh god. So, th yeah, you have, this is, you have to micromanage quite a lot because like, this guy could mine into a cave. Uh, oh my god! And later on, um, there are other modes like um, called rush mode, where it just literally spawns hundreds and hundreds of these guys, and uh, you have to stop. I think you can only allow 200 to die. Oh, see, what's he doing? Oh my god! Uh, I lost. 
I, I, oh my, did you see that? He just mined out the block that was stopping the entire flood of lava. Wow, no, I'm not, that is not even a score worth looking at. <laughs> right, <laughs> restart. <laughs> right, okay. It was my first, well, second attempt. I died the same way before. Fucking water. Oh, god damn it. Maybe I shouldn't have spent all my money on warriors. It's, it's partly down to luck as well, depending on what's in these caves. You have no idea until they dig into one. Um, oh, god. So this is quite hard. I actually find this quite fun already. Um, I haven't really played it much yet, but I'm definitely going to play some more. This is awesome. Um, so the, I'm just going to show you this mode to start off with. Then when I'm a bit better at it, I may do like a full playthrough on an endless mode, which means um, basically you just keep playing and playing and playing until you die. Um, but I need to get a little bit better first because you've seen I've, I've died in the first like five minutes. of I didn't even get down to under ten minutes. <laughs> oh god. So, right. I'm just. Uh, it's hard to keep an eye on them because there is so much. And like, they, someone could mine something over here, and like your whole base over this side of the world could be destroyed, and you wouldn't even realise. So it's it's more it's more tactical than you'd first imagine. I'm going to save my money this time for like blocking stuff off, and uh, making sure no lava gets to me. And if I need to build troops, then I'll build them afterwards. First cave is going to be bad. Is it going to be? Right, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting shift held down really. Whew, nothing in there. So yeah, these these um these rocks are unbreakable, so you can lock in caves completely, um, which you kind of need to do with lava and water, especially when it's that close. You basically shouldn't have enough cash. Probably because I spent all my money on soldiers when I shouldn't have. Um, right, where's that guy going? Oh, there's diamonds and stuff there. I could redirect them just a little bit out of my way, and I'll get quite more, more money. But I'll just leave them on their own path because drawing arrows is really expensive to tell them where they go, where tell them where to go. Um, you can also build these bases, but I haven't even... Oh, oh for God's sake, you mug. Um, oh, he's dead. Uh, great. So we've already encountered some minions. Right, I probably need to build some soldiers now. And are they going to be on alert? No, they're not going to be on alert. They're right. As long as this guy doesn't go up there, then there's no worries. Oh, what? Oh, Jesus Sorry, mate, but you're dead. <laughs> oh God! Oh, oh my God! This is happening again. That is a big. Oh, oh my God! Are you are you joking? Are you actually joking me? Right. Um, I need another thirty gold. Oh come on! Oh come on! I don't have enough money to build a thing. Are you? Oh my! Wow. I've lost. <laughs> oh, this is so hard. Oh. Wow. No. Oh, God, this is ridiculous. Uh, let's try again. Let's try one more time. Oh, my God, this is stupid. They just... I, I didn't have... I spent my money on troops to try and take out the, the thingy, and then I didn't have enough money to put barricades down, and they dug through it, and oh, my God. Wow. Just wow, <laughs> is all I can say to these motherfucking dwarves, Jesus Christ. I can't imagine what rush mode's going to be like. There's like hundreds and hundreds of dwarves just everywhere. So, oh, how am I even going to control that? I have no idea. It'll be, oh my god. I just, I just can't imagine the amount of lava and water just and minions just flooding into my base. I haven't even better shown off like the dynamite or anything yet. Or what the, these do. Which they're, they're kind of integral to like defending yourself against minions across the entire map because they're like a cannon. Oh, that's a good start. That's a good start. Right, we should be alright. If we've got this, we can just protect ourselves from any potential water or lava floods. Um, God. It hasn't gone. These oh, used to be so wary. Like, it said struck water, and about t 20 seconds later, they'd gone and dug it out already. It's just so dangerous. Mining the the life of a dwarf is just horrific. Yeah, and also I should point out the voice acting in this game is by Simon Lane. Um, if I ever do any of the quest missions, which I probably will get down to, because all of this game is pretty fun, and there's lots of different scenarios and stuff. Um, and it's 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 sort of simplistic but complicated at the same time, if that makes sense. So there's a lot that can go wrong, um, a lot, a lot that can go wrong. Um, I've just got to be more careful of the people who are close to my base at the moment. Oh yeah, yeah, and this little gold, right, the, the green ring's obviously their health. Um, the gold ring around them 
is their XP bar. So they get XP from mining, warriors get XP from killing, or you can build one of these and it will level them up for you at a certain cost per second, I think. Um, I don't even I don't understand what these little things look like. Actually, that's a, vo a chest, um, a safe even, just randomly dropped there. There's lots of little like hidden things that appear. Um, he's just gone in a loop. We haven't really hit anything. We haven't actually hit a cave yet. Um, I'm kind of worried about these ones. Like, really worried. Is he going to get some gems? Oh, yeah, yeah, she is. He's actually going to mine the gems. So that's, that gives you lots more gold. You don't get any more score. Oh, do you get more score? Yeah, you get a bigger score bonus as well. That's good. So let's try and beat my score of 5,000 <laughs> that I got last time, which was just terrible. Um, right, where's this guy going? They're all sort of mooching around. Oh, God. I should... Uh, so, yeah. It like it's alright if they hit like lava or something down here because I've got time to sort it out. But when it's there or there, I'm I'm pretty much screwed. And oh god, even here, even I should probably watch out what's in this cave. Um, I'm just gonna save my money to make sure that I don't do anything dumb. Oh, he's not. He didn't go into it in the end. It's pretty much inevitable that they're gonna hit lava and water at some point. But luckily, it hasn't happened right at the start again like um they did before. Cause that oh my god, that was just terrible. So yeah, your main base can have eight warriors, but all of these bases can have eight, I think, as well. Um, oh, lava! Where? Oh my god, right, lava's a problem because um, it can't be, uh, like, um, oh god damn it. Go! Lava's a problem because that won't stop it forever, so I'm going to put another one down to make sure. Um, see, it burns through it, so you have to do, you have to sacrifice a, a dwarfy dwarf to uh, to stop it. So look, there we go. There's a massive crater now, um, in which all of the lava should flow into. And the, oh god, water! Oh, see, right, I, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on it this time though. Whew, got it that time, right? Oh, more lava! Jesus, this isn't going well. Okay, right. Um, We'll put, a, we'll put another one here. Uh, we need to get a dynamite down. And we need to get a dwarf to a... Uh, oh, fuck. This is, I can tell this is going to go wrong. Um, dig! Straight through the rock and, and blow it up. Oh, God. Right. Um, I, I know I need to make these solid because if um, anyone decides to go and dig around here again... Oh, what's that a painting of? That is a random uh, painting. Um, oh, God. Right, so yeah, so this, these two are fine for now, but I really need to keep a close eye on them because, uh, yeah, if... Oh, God, like, this this dickhead here. Um, if he's going to mine into this, I'm going to kill him. Like, I'll set fire to his face. Well, no, his face will be set fire to... Right, no, you, just go back that way. Just get out, just go. I don't want you anywhere near that, okay? Oh, God. This, I've dealt, dealt with the, those problems pretty quickly. Um, these could have been game-ending problems again. But I've managed to sort them out, and if any dwarves sort of go near them, um, I will uh, I'll proceed to send in the other direction. Yeah, lava's burned through that wall now, but it'll go into this pit. You see, so these pits just sort of stop anything in their path, um, whereas a wall can just be burned through by the lava. But dwarves do tend to just walk into them. I've seen before when I've been playing on the tutorial stuff; they just literally walk into a hole to their death. Um, so it's not really good having one like right near your base because everyone just walks into it. Uh, I don't think I need to solidify yet. It's a ex really expensive process, so I'm just going to wait until like there's an actual issue, or when I get too many dwarfs um, trying to dig near like this dangerous lava pit. I see like this this guy again. Back? No, don't even go anywhere near here. They just mindlessly dig for everything, um, like lemmings. Oh, oh shit! Oh, what a fucking idiot. Jesus, cr this is bad. Um, this is really bad. Okay. Uh, oh, God. See? See what happens. Oh, I don't want to kill my level 3. Um, this guy's a scrub. Oh, it's going to cost me a lot to get there. Go on, run. Oh, that's right. Then we've got a treasure cake. We've got quite a lot of money, so it's not too bad. Whew, God, you have to be you have to be quick. Um, otherwise, you lose a lot of dwarfs. Um a lot of shit goes down. See, this is... I'm only, like, eight minutes in. And it's already a fucking... Yeah, so there's a big pit there. Uh, at least no one's going to go in it. Oh, God. I really need to solidify this area. Right, I'm going to have to do that now. Because I... 
I don't trust these guys. They're dumb as shit. And uh, I don't want them to dig into lava. Um, so this should suffice for now. It'll, it'll just sort of stop them sort of getting the lava in the direction of my base. This should stop them. Oh, I need to put one here as well, really. And there. There we go. That should stop them. Um... Oh god, more lava. Oh, this is bad. Okay, right. Um Wow. Uh <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Um Oh god, this is a terrible situation. Okay, uh dynamite there. I don't have enough money. Oh yeah, I do. Oh, what's happened here? Oh, what? When did that happen? Wow, see, I was trying to deal with lava, and, um, and someone dug into the water. Wow. <laughs> oh, do you see what I mean? How micromanagingly hard it... Oh, God damn it. I, I've literally... I managed to get this for seven minutes into the game, um, pretty much. Seven and a half minutes, and I'm dead already. That's the furthest I've got so far. <laughs> oh, my God. This... So, as you can see, this is quite hard. Um, they sort of roam around doing whatever the bloody hell they want. Digging out the lava, we didn't even find any like minions that time. I still didn't get to test out the uh, the extra base thing and show you it, but never mind. Uh, I'm that's not even a high school worth entering. That's so bad. Um, but yeah, this has been uh, episode one. Oh, I'll have a look around. Oh god, when did that happen? Where did the water even come from? Was it up here? Um, well, it flooded into my base and fucked shit up. So. Yeah, there we go. Not the best. That's why solidifying stuff's so essential. Um, to us, even if I didn't, that didn't happen, I'd probably be fucked up here because I'd have to blow holes out there, there, and there, and there. So that's four dwarves. I would have to sort of rush up there before it all went to shit, um, which is unrealistic. Uh, oh god, damn it! That's it went so wrong. See that that dynamite thing I did there it was just useless because they just dug around it and there it was just yeah. <laughs> oh well. So yeah, this has been uh, part one, and I hope you find this sort of interesting. This is quite—I like this game because it's nice and strategical, and there's lots to it. Like this is only one of the modes of the game, which I clearly suck shit at. I'm really bad at it, but there's many other modes. Um, I can try it as a tower defense mode. There's just the general campaign mode, which I might might go through next. So um, I like harness my skills um, while with you guys watching, and I'll try this again. Um, in a few episodes time and see if I can actually like get through the full 15 minutes or even half an hour maybe I might do a nice half an hour one and then if I get good at that I'll give it a go in an endless mode there's also tower defense modes um, there's quite a lot of different ones it's good so yeah um, for now this has been episode one and please come back for the next part um, I really like this game and I hope you guys do as well goodbye